でしょ Excited for the show today. We have a lot going on.、Um, and I just I have to just really soak in everything today because it's such a beautiful day outside, guys. What a beautiful day. It's a holiday. Here, there, and wherever the heck you are, too. It's a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. It's a holiday. Here. What an awesome day. Celebrate the day, cause it's a holiday here. What a beautiful day. Molly, what day is today? Another holiday here. The good news today, it's a holiday. Always a holiday here. So celebrate the day every single day, cause it's a holiday. Here. And wherever you are, too. It's a holiday every single day of the entire year. How amazing is that? Hmm. I don't seem to be missing any. Huh. Nope. Got them all there. It's Tooth Fairy Day. She's not coming to my house. About that. I love tooth fairies. I love fairies in general. But the tooth fairy, that's a whole different breed of fairy. I mean, that's a weird one. I don't like teeth. Kind of gross me out, if I'm being honest. I'm sorry. Now I'm thinking of people taking other people's teeth. Oh my god. So scare your children today and tell them that the tooth fairy is going to come. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I have this really weird thing about teeth, and now I can't stop thinking about teeth missing and falling out. God, I've got to get off of here. Happy holidays. Bye. Did you guys know that it's time for our awesome affirmations? Affirmations I used so many for so many years of my life. Now, what these do is they literally get you to reclaim whatever you want into the universe. If you want, you can repeat after me, but if you don't want to repeat, that's absolutely fine. The words will still soak into your subconscious and go where they need to be going. So, not really that big of a deal. Just repeat after me if that's what you choose to do. I am awesome! I'm the awesomest person alive. I'm having an awesome day. In fact, today is the awesomest day of my entire life. My life is an awesome adventure. Everyone in my life is.
so I'm not a patient person. For the past, oh gosh, for the past, uh, how old am I? 28, 28 years? I have been learning about patience. As I was young, my mom used to tell me all the time that it's a virtue. And I, it's still something that I struggle with today. I still get very, very excited. And if something I know is supposed to happen or something um, I'm really, really looking forward to happening, if it's going on, then I just, I get so excited and so attached to it. I'm like, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. And it's like a little kid syndrome. Like my, my niece does this all the time. Whenever she wants something, if someone tells her that she's going to get a present that like it was shipped here or something and it'll be here in the next week, she's like, ah, I can't wait. I'm going to explode. And she really feels like the entire, all the pressure of this impatience weighing on top of her. It's absolutely great. And I am the exact same way. I, I get so excited and I'm just like, oh my God, I want to explode. I can't wait any longer. But that's not what this needs to be about. That's not what patience is about. Patience is about enjoying exactly where you are in the moment. Because if you don't enjoy where you are right now, then you're not going to be able to enjoy whatever you're waiting for. Whatever is coming to you. At least not fully and not completely. So, lately I've been learning a lot about patience. And, and truly, it's one of the hardest things that I've ever had to come across, ever, ever had to learn in my life. But the key is to live fully present in every single moment, smile like you mean it, and laugh whenever you want. Um, just be completely 100% present in every single moment. That's the key to patience. Because if you're completely present, then you can do so much and there's so much time and by the time you are finishing up all of these cool things that you're wanting to do in this very present moment then you can finally start accepting and receiving the the thing that you've been waiting on so whenever you feel the need like you're feeling anxious or rushed or you just don't don't want to wait any longer close your eyes take a deep breath let it out and remember be here now whenever whenever you feel yourself not wanting to live in the present moment tell yourself be here now be in this moment, right now. And then your entire world will change because then all of a sudden you'll get all the time in the world. You'll get all of the energy in the world because you'll be fully present in every single moment. And it'll be so beautiful and so well worth it. So, the key to patience is being fully present right here, right now. So right here, right now, where are you? Let me know in the comments. Have a wonderful day. You got a message? Oh, reflection. I understand. So every single winter, um, everything kind of dies in a way, doesn't it? Like the trees have no leaves on them anymore. They don't have to. This is a time for us all to retreat, go inside, and really reflect on everything that has happened in the winter month months in the later part of the year we start to think about the beginning part of the year what obstacles have we overcome how much have we changed it doesn't necessarily have to be within this year 
How much have you changed in your lifetime since childhood, perhaps? We all go through different things and we all grow in different ways. The only way to realize how far we've come is to realize where we used to be. So take some time to reflect on that today. <laughs>